and that's why a lot of people tend to stick into relationships they have no business being in like you you're hoping and praying that uh you, the person you're with they're going to become better if you know they're abusive you're like no it's going to change one day but you know you can't change someone who doesn't want to change for themselves and i say this regardless of why you get into relationships or spaces of friendships i think people need to be more aware of the reasons Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're not, come a K. Ka Dani Anyumba, relax, have a cup of tea, and let's get real. It's your girl, Kush Tracy, and thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're new, Nakopenda Sana, and you're welcomed here. So, of course, um, today this is what I'm going to talk about. Um, uh, it's just been, you know, standing out for me, and uh, it's something I've really struggled with, and sometimes I find myself struggling with the same thing. And uh, this is the, you know, hero savior complex. And uh, <laughs> this is so funny because um, most of the times uh, we feel as people, we want to change people so that they can become the kind of people that we are hoping they can be so that we can coexist or exist with them. And uh, for the longest time, personally, I had this thing, like someone could be hurting me, could be taking away my peace, could be taking away my joy. But at the same time, I wasn't ready to let them go. So I'd stick around, try to mold them to this person, try to change them to this person, try to feed um, into their personality, a different persona, an idea of what I thought they could be. But I came to realize, in all honesty, no one can change unless they actually want to change as a person. You can never make that decision for anyone. And uh, for the longest time, I used to get so drained and so exhausted and this is not just physically but even emotionally because you know you're trying to change someone who doesn't want to be changed but at the same time you feel like if you um, accomplish or manage to change them you will be a hero in that story and it's so sad because it's an idea which most people do have and that's why a lot of people tend to stick into relationships they have no business being in like you you're hoping and praying that uh, you, the person you're with they're going to become better if you know they're abusive you're like no it's going to change one day but you know you can't change someone who doesn't want to change for themselves and i say this regardless of why you get into relationships or spaces of friendships i think people need to be more aware of the reasons why and you need to meet people where they're at if this is where i'm at don't try to make me skip you know there's a difference between um someone learning and someone being intentional about becoming a better version of themselves and you trying to push it or shove it down their throat that this is who i think you should be and then you're trying to change them and uh, i i always say this even for me no one could have changed me it's only um i who got to a point of realizing i can't keep on going like this and accepting the fact that I was messing up in so many ways and I was doing the wrong thing and being intentional with my work and being intentional by saying, Kush, you need to do better. Kush, you need to stop doing this. Kush, you need to change your behavior. You need to change the way you react. You need to change the way you um, respond to things. And I struggled with that even as a person because all along I've been in, you know, um, narcissistic relationships. I've been in abusive relationships. And for the longest time i came to realize it's because i was hoping that that person would one day change because of how i love them but you can't love someone into changing that person has to be intentional and willing to change even this goes back to even our families eh? sometimes we get drained so so much by trying to change um the way our parents are you're like, why is my parent not like Nani's parent? Because of comparison most of the time. Why is Nani not like Nani? So you're like, no, I'll do my best to try and change them. But you can't change your parent unless they want to change for themselves. And it has to, it's, a, it's a very personal thing. I think from experience, I came to realize it's a very personal thing. The same way even when I'm out doing um, ministry and doing the mission work in high school, uh, high schools that is, I came to realize um, there's so much that I can do. The only thing I can do is give you... Um, 
give you my testimony give you my truth and um just hope and pray that you get to pick something that helps you and actually convicts you by the help of the holy spirit for you to be able to um, take the first step and change and become this whole other person and the worst thing is you know anytime you're being you're having this hero you know savior um, complex thing happening to you you lose so much of yourself because now you're, you're putting your energy you're putting your effort you're putting your time into trying to transform someone else into trying to save someone else and i think it's the same case when it comes to people who are into drugs it's one thing to tell someone who's into drugs um you know what you need to stop using drugs and it's another thing to you know tell them the good the good stuff about you know if you're not using drugs you could do abcd and if uh, you try quitting this and this can happen to you there is hope you can recover and all of that and it's another thing to try to force someone to quit unless someone gets to that point of i really want to quit this you'll be fighting a losing battle because you can't fight for someone who doesn't want to fight for themselves you can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved even um when it comes to the christian faith of course um you know jesus says is the only person who can save you like no one can save you no human being can save you the only thing we can do as human as human beings is encourage and give you ile motivation and motisha kuendelea na kungangana but it's only jesus christ who can save you you can't transform yourself but through the holy spirit you can have transformation and renewal of your mind because even the bible says you know it begins here and then now it comes everywhere else it enters into every aspect of your life and uh, i think for me um what really stood out it's understanding i cannot fix people and i cannot save people and i cannot change people i can give them my truth and i can be honest about my truth and i need to leave the rest to god because remember we are all children of god he's the creator so regardless of whether you know we are dealing with difficult people sometimes all you have to do is just be gracious enough to understand they are in a season and unless they get to a season where they will actually want to transform and change and become better people you cannot love people into changing i think i've never really had a story of people saying i loved someone to a point that they wanted to change because of me because if someone changes because of you and not changing because of themselves that means it's very easy for them um to just you know slide back in, into their old habits because if i changed because of you maybe because i loved you and i cared about you so what happens when one day you wake up and i don't love you anymore and i don't care about you anymore i'm going to go back to my factory settings and go back to the old me so i feel like it's very important for people to understand we cannot save people but we can pray for them we can love them from a distance but don't allow ourselves to be drawn into that cycle of you're trying to save someone who doesn't want to be saved so you're um, mentally drained emotionally drained you're frustrated and then your life stops you know sometimes you make me fighting for someone who doesn't want to be fought for and then you stop your whole life you don't pursue your dreams you don't pursue your purpose you don't pursue your passion just because you feel like you'll be leaving this person behind so sometimes we can be held back by people we love in the name of i want them to change i want them to you know to do better and i'm trying to do this but at the same time you need to understand you can't save anyone you can't change anyone you can't love anyone into changing until they themselves want to be better people and do better and just tra be transformed it's a very personal thing so i think that was a very interesting revelation for me even when i'm doing ministry right now i'm like you know what you can go to these schools but you can't save these kids but you can tell them truth and even the word of god says you know the truth you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free so in truth the holy spirit has to convict you so that you can take steps and try to do better but if you hear truth and uh, you choose not to pay attention you know that's for you but you cannot say we as people can't save anyone i can't save anyone i can't save my family i can't save my friends i can't save nobody and i can't even save myself it's only jesus who can save um save us and that's why he's the savior like that's why he died for us like who else can die who who is sinless to die for the world if not jesus christ so i think um we'll definitely have you know deeper conversations surrounding this um topic but for today i just wanted to touch on that and just encourage you if you feel you're stuck because of trying to save other people please understand you don't uh you don't have to um be in that cycle 
you don't need to lose your joy your happiness and stop your life because you're trying to save other people who probably don't want to be saved or don't want to be helped only jesus can save us but it takes intention to change so it has to start from the people you're trying to help do they actually want to change ask the right question do they want to change are they ready to change are they going to do everything it takes for them to change otherwise if they can't answer those questions for themselves that means you're doing zero work so it's easy to lie you know i've changed blah 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 but then if it's it doesn't come from heart it's going to be hard but i hope you've been encouraged in case you are in that um, season but definitely we'll have more conversations regarding um, this particular topic so let me know in the comment section how you feel about this have you um have you been in that in that season have you gone through it are you going through it and what's your take and uh, what have you done to you know manage to overcome the um the savior mentality you know <laughs> the savior complex so it's quite um interesting but you know be a hero in your own life and let Jesus save you and let Jesus save them. So pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Don't go down. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video.